to ensure a healthier and happier society, Canon Extra has brought to you the Health Busters Show. We gathered people's opinions as regards different health topics. Now guess what? Quite a number of myths are out there. Health experts will be debunking these myths and providing you information to live a healthier and happier life. Stay tuned. It's the Health Busters show powered by Canon Extra, your fastest relief from headaches and all sorts of pain. Now, like we do on this show, we debunk different health myths and all of the wrong perceptions you have about different health topics. We'll be discussing the different causes of kidney problems and kidney failures as well. To discuss this, I have with me an expert, Dr. Ola, who is a medical doctor a general physician and someone who is very committed to providing quality health education and also excellent healthcare services. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Ola. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. Now, here are people's views about the different causes of kidney problems. So, what did you say if they cause those kidney failure? Now, blood round. So, kidney failure comes from the blood. Like if it's in blood, they bad if it cause kidney failure. If it causes some. Well, for me, I'm going to say drinking can cause it. Smoking also. Because for me, I don't smoke. So I don't know. But I have a note that says smokers are liable to die young. So definitely for them to write such, it must be harmful to them. So Kidney failure, something that can cause it is, for me, for my own knowledge, kidney failure... It can cause not taking too much water. If you are eating too much and you are not taking enough water, it can cause it. Then kidney failure, if you are not a pass that don't do exercise, it will cause it to my own understanding. Kidney failure, mm, due to what we are eating presently in Nigeria, and likewise, let me, let me even say things that people are managing to eat now. They don't have good diet. They are eating what is not up to um, what can keep them healthy. So all these roughages we are eating now can cause anything. So you believe that what we eat and what we drink can cause kidney failure? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So what can cause kidney failure? Dr excess, of, excess drinking, smoking, and healing of all this. Um, um, what we eat, what we consume, yeah. can cause kidney failure. Because it depends on what you you are taking foods that are not, that don't that your body does not work on, could develop such. It's a too. Either you prevent it, don't prevent it. You can still have it because it's a dietary from the family blood. So that's it. So quite a number of views out there about what people think, you know, can cause kidney problems. And of course, there's, you know, so much out there and quite a lot of this information might be untrue, yeah? Yes. And that's why we have you here. So what are the causes of kidney problems? Okay, we have, a, we have various causes of, if you use the word plethora, mm -hmm. <laughs> plethora, okay, causes of um, kidney. kidney problems, generally. Yes, but the kidney itself, what do they do? Basically, kidneys just help to eliminate waste in the body and to filter excess, excess um, fluid in the blood. Mm -hmm. Yes, so in doing that, so if the kidneys should fail, the metabolic waste will accumulate in the body and this can cause a whole lot of problems. Mm -hmm. Yes, so there are different kinds of kidney problems. Let me just list them. So we have, number one, kidney stones. This is where stones develop in the kidney or anywhere in the urinary tract as well. Kidney stones, yes, or bladder stones. We have bladder stones, we have kidney stones, yes. Okay, we also have what we call chronic kidney disease. Now, chronic kidney disease usually is what is um, defined as gradual loss of kidney function over a long time. That's why it's called chronic. Anything that is chronic means that that's been existing for a very long time. We also have what we call acute kidney injury. Acute kidney injury, that's what is most, more common this this in our environment. So that one just is a sudden loss of kidney function. Sudden loss of kidney function. So 
find that the person cannot produce urine as much as he usually does because of something that happened. Yeah, so we also have what we call glomerulonephritis. Is in <laughs> the kidney is, is quite a <laughs> yeah glomerulonephritis. It was very simple. The glomerulus is in the kidney, so yeah. they are the filtering portions, filtering apparatus in the kidney. In the so kidney. these things can get infected. Oh, wow. So when they get infected, you also have kidney problems. Okay. Well, you have a more common one also urinary tract infections. Yes, so. Talking about the symptoms of generally kidney problems, they can cause vomiting, nausea, lots of, loss of appetite, and so on, and muscle weakness. Mm -hmm. So let me go to the acute kidney injury because this is what is common in our, in our environment. And this is majorly due to the use of our drugs. Yeah, because I was waiting for that. I mean, yeah, I know. That's where yeah. I was, I was, I was going to get there. Mm -hmm. So these are drugs, they directly affect the kidney. They cause insults to kidney function. So add drugs like cocaine. Yes. Abba concussions. Majorly. That's another mm -hmm. thing. We have people that hawk them. Yeah. We have various, they mix a lot of things together. So we have about about concussions. Okay. So in those I mean, don't know how they prepare them. Sure. Don't know the dosage for the about concussion. That, that a lot of medical practitioners usually don't advocate for aba medicines. Yeah. It's not because it is yeah. bad, because we don't know how they are produced, how they mix them the correct dosage and how to use them. And again, you're worried about the side effects. So that we don't usually recommend about concussions. Now, these people that sell these about concussion and mixtures, they now had ibuprofen, so drugs nice. like ibuprofen. They use daclofenac, they grind them, they mix them into, this, into these things. And those things on their own, when they are used excessively, they can cause an acute kidney malfunction so that we call it acute, acute kidney injury because suddenly the person just discovered that they cannot make urine adequately and a whole lot of other symptoms come into play when this happens so we also have cocaine use oh. yeah so we also have like i mentioned before glomerulonephritis these things affect the kidney directly now so let's let's go into the chronic kidney disease now chronic kidney disease like i said before is gradual loss of kidney function over a long time. Mm -hmm. Now, when you see patients who are on dialysis, always going for dialysis all the time, every now and then, it's because they have a chronic kidney disease. Yeah. Sometimes, to so people that have acute kidney injury, where there's sudden loss of kidney function, yeah. they can also undergo dialysis just to help the kidneys to feel to remove excess, we uh, excess waste yeah. in the body and to restore normal function to the body. So, chronic kidney disease has a lot of causes and which includes number one hypertension okay. so hypertension is the biggest factor for a lot of things in the body yeah. hypertension so we call it hypertensive nephropathy very mm -hmm. simple <laughs> hypertensive hypertension yeah. nephro means the kidney party yeah. means disease okay. so hypertensive kidney disease to... things like that you yeah. understand you also have diabetic diabetic nephropathy so diabetic nephropathy diabetes can also cause yes cause kidney problem in the long term okay. yes to so, like leading to chronic kidney disease then we also have what we call obstructive uropathy simply put means that there's an obstruction somewhere mm -hmm. in the urinary system you know you can, urine is put in the kidneys yeah. move to the ureter the ureter is connected to the bladder so it's stored in the bladder then it goes to the urethra from the urethra is passed out so any obstruction from the kidneys to the ureter, mm -hmm. to the urethra, to the bladder, any obstruction there to the urethra, it can cause chronic kidney disease too, as well. They also have what we call polycystic, polycystic kidney disease, PKD, commonly called PKD. So these, then also we also have HIV associated nephropathy, cause from um, HIV. All these can cause chronic kidney disease, and it is very chronic disease. Chronic CKD is a very debilitating disease to have yeah. and it's very financially draining for most of the patients that come for dialysis there's usually hypertension wow. as a death they usually have hypertension they usually have diabetes at least those two sure most of the time they don't know that i always shout that okay if you have hypertension make sure it is well controlled okay. 
if it is well controlled, use a drug every day, day there's a prob- yeah, at chances least have- chances are reduced that you have any complication. Yes. So also fam- um, other kidney problems, there are other risk factors for okay, I mentioned that diabetes, ob- obesity is another one. Yeah. Obesity too can cause kidney problems. It is a family history of kidney disease. There's a high chance too that someone can also have ki- a kidney oh. condition. Oh. Yes. So for the young people out there, you know, young people want to recreate, they want to yeah, enjoy themselves, explore. explore. So they use cocaine, all these hard drugs we have in our, come in our environment. Drugs part and then mixing with the drinks as well. As well. Too, so it's, nearly it's, it's recipe for disaster for the kidney. Oh, wow. Yes, it's a recipe for disaster for the kidney. So people, young people, they, just, they need to be careful. A lot of these people that are awk, they mix a whole lot. Yesterday I saw someone, the woman, she was just mixing all sorts, one yellow solution, one green, one black, <laughs> combine everything together yeah. and sell it to people. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. yeah, so... You don't think of the people. Exactly. People so those things, when they have been used over a very, over, uh, over a long time, yeah. prolonged time, there's a high risk of coming down with kidney problems. Yeah. And kidney problem, especially CKD, chronic kidney disease, is not what anyone should pray for. Because of the finances, like someone said that you are one, you are one kidney problem away from from poverty. Because even if you are rich and have all the money, most of the kidney fail and you require dialysis every week dialysis or every every two to three days in the week dialysis. Your your finances are growing into it, and you don't want to have such things. So there are different there are ways where we can we can reduce our risk of having these kidney problems. The major thing is. Yes. I'm sure a lot of people never knew all of these whole mixtures, roadside stuff. Yes. We're not saying that it don't work. Yeah. We're, not, we're not saying that it don't work. What we are saying is that yeah. we don't know how they are made. The side effects, the dosage, the dosage well, we don't know. People just, we just take it. Someone can take a whole cup and they just drink like that. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, you know, very, yeah, so, very and those things can cause acute insults to the kidneys. You don't, you don't see medical practitioner advocating for about concussion sure. at any whether it is little or because we don't know the, how it is produced. Sure. Yeah, that's so it. Better, better safe than sorry. It's exactly. good to know these particular causes oh. and to even know the hypertension. I mean, I think diabetes, I'm just hearing yeah. that hypertension, you know, diabetes, myself. Uh, so, um, for I just diseases. I just hope that people would you know know to avoid the things that they need to avoid to yes. stay healthy to make sure that our kidneys stay healthy because of course we need them to you know function, function properly optimally, yeah, every yeah. day thank you very much dr Ola. that was a lot of information and i mean it's you know it's great to know that this very you know sound information is out there it's access to information that people need to you know try and do better around thank you very much for clarifying all of this thank you for joining us dr yeah. Ola. So, any last words as regards kidney problems and the causes of course? Yes, so kidney problems in our environment for the chronic, for the chronic kidney disease, hypertension, diabetes, majorly, obstructive uropathy, yes, so also for the acute ones, the drugs, drug use, about concussion, drug use like cocaine, alcohol, even smoking. Yes, they all have effects on the kidneys. So anybody that loves him, his or herself <laughs> would take extra precaution to ensure that the, their kidneys function to a proper level. For kidneys, very, very important in the body. It filters excess blood, excess fluid from the blood, and also eliminates metabolic waste. So if the kidneys fail to do that, then a lot of symptoms will come up. Sure. Nausea vomiting, weight loss, loss of appetite, then decreased urination, of course, because your kidneys are not working. You're not able to urinate. They won't produce urine optimally, and urine contains waste. Yeah, so people need to ensure that they choose to live healthy, healthy lives. Yes, fruits, I've not really emphasized it. Fruits, vegetables should form bulk of our diets. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Ola. Well, now you have it out there. These are the things that can cause kidney problems. And that's how you have to stay safe from kidney problems. What do you think causes breast cancer? Ah, causes of breast cancer is much like wearing tightening bra. 
So what do you think causes breast cancer? So many things can cause breast cancer. Like our intake can cause it, you know, and um, too much tightening of bra can also cause it. And overwearing of dark bras, especially during the sun period, can cause it.